everything else. They, yeah, they said they just don't want to go away. That's a wonderful thing, actually. Well, we should probably be out there hunting for them. Yesterday afternoon would have been a great time to do that. It was a gorgeous afternoon around a good portion of the air. Our temperatures got into the low to mid 50s, but just jumping ahead a little bit as uh, I was thinking about this this morning for the Seahawks game on Sunday. You there it goes, Whew, just like that. He hates it when we talk about Seahawks and he has to fly over and threaten us. Uh, we did see, uh, we are going to be seeing on Sunday though, Quite a few showers scattered around, but they will be rain showers. But it's going to be chilly during the game, at least from what we're used to. And, of course, another month from now probably will feel warm. But we're going to be mostly in the low 40s during the game, and we'll have the showers. So you may want to take your rain gear with you. Even if you're undercover, you may have to get to and from the stadium. So not a bad idea to have that along. Take a look at the Doppler radar. You can see we've got a real change from what we had on Thanksgiving. We've got a cold front pushing its way into Puget Sound, just spreading a little light rain in along the coast. And then it's going to be pushing its way in. It should be in around the Bellingham in the next hour or two and down around Olympia and then spread up and down the I-5 corridor as we head towards about oh, 6 to 8 a.m. And then it's going to be wet pretty much until uh, probably mid-afternoon when that front should finally slide through and we'll look for things to uh, turn to just some off and on showers we head towards overnight tonight into tomorrow. It will be staying rain though at the highway passes during the day today in case you are heading over the Cascade. So that's good news. Taking a look at the uh, Doppler radar out on the coast. It's not real solid yet, but this is fairly fast moving, but it's going to be kind of intense, kind of like what we saw the other day. It'll be a really probably a pretty sharp maximum in the rainfall as we head towards uh, probably midday to early afternoon. Bellingham this morning, just cloudy skies, pretty quiet. They had 55 up there yesterday. Everett Tower Cam showing a quiet morning as well. Not looking for much wind with this system, so that's also good news. And busy day on the departure deck there. You can see just the uh, flag just fluttering there on the top of the Tacoma Dome this morning. We do have this system that's moving through today. That zips right on through. This next system out here is still developing. That one's going to be moving in late Saturday afternoon, Saturday night. This first system, if you're traveling to cross the Cascades, this first system actually uh, keeps the snow levels probably above all the passes through probably late afternoon and then by this evening it'll drop down to Stevens and White Passes. They'll accumulate some snow and then as you head towards late tonight, early tomorrow will be down below Snoqualmie Pass and there'll be a pause tomorrow morning before this colder system moves in and that one is actually going to give us a pretty good shot of snow, probably about three to six inches for tonight, but that system for Saturday night into early Sunday could give us six to 12 inches of the passes, which is going to make travel, especially the end of the holiday weekend, a little difficult. So probably if you've got a choice between Saturday and Sunday to go across the Cascades, go for Saturday. And the earlier you go, probably the better. Take a look at our temperatures this morning. It's uh, running mostly in the 40s at this hour, so pretty mild for most spots. And as I was saying, across the passes, if you're leaving this morning, nothing going on up there. We've got uh, basically barren wet or barren dry pavement. No restrictions except for Stevens Pass. It has traction tires advised this morning, so they're in pretty good shape. Our forecast overall for today for the mountains does call for increasing rain or snow. But again, as I said, it'll be above the highway passes pretty much through the daylight hours tonight and then drop down to the the Stevens and White this evening and then all the way down to Snoqualmie overnight. So check in here in the lowlands. We're going to be looking for increasing rain this morning. That should turn to off and on showers by late afternoon. Mid to upper 40s for the highs. Increasing rain again late tomorrow. Showers and sun breaks and cool Sunday. And then next week, we're going to be looking for a chance of a few rain or snow showers off and on through the first half of the week with highs upper 30s and low 40s. A couple of snow flurries around on Thursday, otherwise clearing out the sun and cold. Daytime highs only in the low to mid 30s.